The night was cold and still as Cynthia Miller, the curator of the renowned Ashcroft Museum, stood alone in the grand exhibition hall. The moon's pale light spilled through the ornate windows, casting an ethereal glow on the precious artifacts displayed within. The museum's reputation was built on the excellence and rarity of its collection, attracting visitors from all over the world. But lately, something sinister had been unfolding behind the scenes. Cynthia paced nervously, her eyes darting from one exhibit to another. Over the past few weeks, several valuable artifacts had vanished overnight without a trace. The museum's security system, known for its state-of-the-art technology, failed to capture any footage. It was as if the objects had vanished into thin air. Desperate to solve the mystery and protect the remaining treasures, Cynthia reached out to an old acquaintance, Detective Marcus Walker. Known for his astute investigative skills, Marcus had a reputation for solving the most perplexing cases. Marcus, Cynthia, she said, her voice trembling. I need your help. Artifacts are disappearing from the museum, and I fear we are dealing with a sophisticated thief. Marcus's deep voice came through the receiver, laced with concern. I'll be right there, Cynthia. We'll get to the bottom of this. Marcus arrived at the museum early the next morning, his eyes scanning the exhibition hall. He approached Cynthia, a determined expression etched across his face. Cynthia, tell me everything you know, Marcus said, opening a small notebook. Cynthia took a deep breath and began describing the strange occurrences. The first artifact to vanish was an ancient Mayan mask, followed by a priceless Renaissance painting and a delicate Ming Dynasty vase. Each time, there were no signs of forced entry or tampering with the security system. It's as if the thief knows the museum inside out. Marcus scribbled furiously in his notebook, his mind working to piece together the puzzle. Let's start by examining the artifacts that were stolen. I have a hunch that they may be connected. Together, Marcus and Cynthia examined the remaining artifacts, poring over their history and significance. As they studied the artifacts, a pattern emerged, the stolen pieces all had ties to famous art forges. It's possible that these thefts are not about stealing the actual artifacts, Marcus speculated. Instead, someone may be using the stolen items as a cover for a larger operation. Marcus and Cynthia delved deeper into the world of art forgery, spending long nights poring over records and questioning experts. Their investigation led them to the infamous underground art scene, a dark and secretive realm hidden beneath the veneer of the legitimate art world. Disguised as wealthy art collectors, Marcus and Cynthia infiltrated an underground art auction held in a derelict warehouse on the outskirts of the city. The room was dimly lit, filled with an air of anticipation as the auctioneer unveiled one counterfeit masterpiece after another. As the auction progressed, Marcus and Cynthia noticed a familiar artifact, a stolen Chinese calligraphy scroll from the museum. It was clear that the thieves were not just stealing the artifacts but were also creating convincing forgeries to replace them. Before they could make a move, Cynthia's sharp eyes caught sight of a familiar face in the crowd, an art expert who had been advising the museum on acquisitions. Marcus, look, she whispered urgently, pointing at the man. That's Alexander Crane, the consultant we hired. He must be involved. Marcus nodded, his gaze locked on Crane. Let's keep our cover for now, but we need to gather evidence against him. Days turned into weeks as Marcus and Cynthia meticulously collected evidence against Alexander Crane, building a solid case against him. They discovered a hidden workshop in the basement of Crane's lavish mansion, filled with masterfully crafted forgeries. Armed with the evidence they needed, Marcus and Cynthia organized a raid on Crane's mansion, with the assistance of law enforcement. The mansion buzzed with activity as police officers swarmed the property, securing every exit. As they entered the hidden workshop, Cynthia gasped at the sight of countless stolen artifacts. It was a treasure trove of illicit art. Crane cornered and defeated, sat hunched in a chair, a mix of rage and despair etched on his face. You caught me, he muttered, his voice filled with resignation. I've spent years perfecting my art forgeries, but the greed consumed me. I wanted to be known as the greatest thief and forger of our time. Marcus approached Crane, his gaze piercing. Your art may have fooled many, but justice will be served. You will face the consequences for your crimes. As Crane was led away in handcuffs, Cynthia breathed a sigh of relief. The missing artifacts were recovered, and justice was served. The Ashcroft Museum could finally rest easy, knowing that the treasures under its care were safe once more. The disappearing artifacts had left a mark on Cynthia and Marcus, forever reminding them of the dark underbelly of the art world. It was a mystery they had solved, but it served as a stark reminder that even the most precious of treasures could be tainted by the allure of deception and greed.